Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Um, sorry, not don't have too much time. Still wanted to update you here about Bitcoin. Bitcoin reached again targets. Yeah, after we made this beautiful move here yesterday, that um, was forecasted here in the primary expectation. We then moved up, also as expected here in a way four, hit the price target, and now it's getting very very interesting for Bitcoin. Um, if you want to know more about the higher level wave patterns, I suggest. <clears throat> take a look at yesterday's last video because there I explained them in a little bit more detail uh, running a bit out of time now so I still wanted to update you so what now needs to happen yeah we maxed out this price target here that went all the way up to nearly 20.5k uh, I told you yesterday that this should happen and this looks like a three wave move at the moment yeah so it is uh, looking interesting you can count this bullish but then it would be a one two one two so for now I would expect here a reversal in the primary bearish scenario to the downside. Best evidence for that, that way 4 is finished, would be a move below 19,600. That would be a drop out of the target area here that I defined yesterday and a break below the ascending trend line that we have here of the bear flag. Next targets would then be the swing low at 18,900. <clears throat> 18,600 and we would then move down to in my opinion first 17,500 and 16,900 and then we need to take it from there that would be the scenario in which we make a lower low below the 17,500 swing low and this is where we are and if we go above now and of course you know time machines haven't been invented so I don't know if we really will turn around in my opinion it's highly likely as it's following this wave count nicely if we don't, then we will unlock prices, in my opinion, first to 22k and then possibly here 22.6k. This would then be in a higher level corrective scenario, a WXYXZ pattern that I explained in the last few videos. Again, that means if we go above 20,500, it would not be bullish, but it is something that could be traded long. Of course, no financial advice. It's all probabilities, no certainties. And then from there, I would expect the sell-offs to start. Okay, and this is where we currently are here on the bearish scenario. What about a bullish one? Can we count this bullish? Yes, <laughs> yes we can. Um, bullish would be that we now start to move from the swing low here where we count this as a one and a two. Yeah, We would now expect a wave three to the upside to break above the previous swing high here at 22,500 and also to go above 23,300. Indeed, the target would be around 25,000. This is what would need to happen for a breakout. So that means for me, go, for me, the move above 20,500 would in any case mean higher levels. Yeah. Um, we will need to look at the price structure then to evaluate how likely is now the bullish scenario or the alternative bearish scenario in a WXYXZ pattern. That is what we will then need to see. And for me, it remains that it, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, for any trader, it doesn't make a difference um, because we would go higher anyway, in my opinion. What will make a difference is a move above 23.3K. If we do that, it will put more emphasis on the bullish scenario. Now, how can we count this? As I said, there are a few overlaps, which already is a not so good start but we can still count this without a problem bullish so we would have here um, to count a one two then another one two and okay this is not yet a one two because um, we are not overlapping here but if we start to do this that would be another one two and that would speak rather for the bearish scenario um, but one two one two possibly here a three a four and then a five to the upside but that five to the upside would push us above 20,500 most likely. And then we can expect price levels of uh, yeah, around about 22K in my opinion, yeah? So take an eye on that, take a, take a look at that. And up there, we will then see the decision if we are just in a corrective wave pattern, which would result in another sell-off, which is my primary expectation either way. So either we sell off straight away or we move up in this, again, this W, x y x z corrective pattern and then we'll move this entire sell-off over there okay so it will delay this entire move which is not a major problem just means that it will start a little bit later 
But for now, the chances are good that we indeed will go lower here, will make it below these key levels that I just mentioned to you, and that the bearish scenario works out here. First of all, that immediate sell-off, then alternatively would be the WXY XZ pattern, where we could move up to 23K here, as I said. Um, and then the bullish scenario we're tracking, lower possibility, lower probability, around 25%, which doesn't mean it's impossible, just means it has become less likely. Um, but we still want to track it and have it on the radar so we don't miss when the breakout occurs and when the chances for a breakout increase, okay? So, yeah, that is my view about Bitcoin. I will keep you updated throughout the day. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.